जी बिस्मिल्लाम दिस इज माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो एंड आई विल अपलोड दिस वीडियो इन द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माई अपॉलोजीज ड्यू टू सम बिजी रूटीन इन माई पर्सनल लाइफ एंड ड्यू टू सम अदर रूटीन मैटर्स आई कूडेंट अपलोड वीडियोज फॉर अ कपल ऑफ वीक्स हाउ एवर आई एम प्लानिंग टू अपलोड रेगुलर वीडियोज ऑन रेगुलर बेसिस वंस अगेन सो यू आर वंस अगेन वेलकम टू माई चैनल you can watch this video uh, in the playlist of consumer behavior and this video is going to be very helpful for the students of uh, business studies or the students of commerce and especially for the students of marketing who are actually going through and reading the subject of marketing this chapter this is the chapter number 6 of my slides i have already uploaded the previous five chapters and this is the sixth one so chapter number 6 its name is consumer perception so without casting any delay let's move to our next slide consumer per perception this is our uh, learning outcome for our uh, current video we will understand the sensory dynamics of perception then we will learn about three elements of perception the three important elements and after that we will understand the components of consumer imagery and their strategic application keep those three points in your mind and with the next coming slides we will discuss all these and our objectives would be fulfilled after the end of these two or three videos that i am going to make okay ji perception what is actually perception you can see an eye a person is watching something so perception is simply whatever we see we make a meaningful picture in our mind about that particular object or particular thing this is actually called perception perception in the scientific more scientific sense the process by which an individual selects organizes and interprets stimuli into a meaningful and coherent picture of the world like you are getting the stimuli stimuli is anything that you are observing and you are making a meaningful and coherent picture in your mind is actually the process of perception then elements of perception there are actually four elements of perception which combine and make a full concept of perception these four elements are sensation absolute threshold differential threshold and subliminal perception i am not going to explain it in this slide but we will explain all those four elements of perception one by one in the coming slides okay ji sensation the first one this is the first one sensation sensation what is sensation sensation is a immediate and direct response of the sensory organs to a stimuli and a stimuli is any unit of input to any of the senses for example the beam of light enters into my eye and i just close my eye so or i just turn my face around away from the light so this is sensation your direct response of your sensory organ to a stimuli for example i smell a tasty food and i start to feel appetite i start to feel hungry so my stimulus entered into my sensory organs of nose and i responded to that particular thing to that particular taste in form of hunger so it erased it actually uh, generated hunger inside me so this is sensation sensation is immediate and direct response of your sensory organs to a stimuli and stimuli is any unit of input uh, that generate sensation in you know our body or in our eyes just in case of light and absolute threshold is the lowest level at which an individual can experience a sensation for example in hearing absolute threshold is the smallest level of tone you can detect absolute threshold the minimum level of uh, the sensation which an individual can experience for example if you are listening to the sound which is less than 20 decibels you cannot listen then if somebody is making a noise under 20 decibels our hearing system our ears cannot detect that sound and if some sound is playing more than 20000 decibel we even cannot hear that sound there are certain uh, warfare jets which make or which produce a sound of more than 20000 decibel so we cannot experience that sound 
So because our absolute threshold level is the lowest level of sensation that we can experience, as I told you in case of voice or sound, then differential threshold. There is very important concept of differential threshold, which is called J and D, just noticeable difference. Just noticeable difference, the minimal difference that can be detected between two stimuli. The minimum difference that you can differentiate between the two stimuli is called minimal uh, difference. Weber's law, Weber actually explained the concept of J and D, just noticeable difference. He says the differential threshold or just noticeable difference is the smallest detectable difference between the two stimuli. For example, we will understand it uh, through an example. What does it say? For example, imagine you have a pile of sand with one grain added to it. You have a pile of sand, you have a, a big, huge amount of sand and a grain is actually added on it. You probably won't notice the difference in the size of pile. After adding a grain on a pile of sand, we will not see a major difference. There is slight difference, but it will not be a major difference in the size of the pile. However, if you add another grain, making it two grains in total, you might just start to notice that the pile looks slightly bigger. The difference between one and two grain is differential threshold, the smallest change you can detect in the stimulus. So it's saying after adding one grain on the pile of sand, we are not very much, uh, we are not uh, watching a different, uh, a noticeable difference in the size of the pile. However, if we add another grain on the pile of the sand, maybe we will probably, we will be able to understand the difference in the size. We might say the size is slightly bigger than the first one. So the difference between the first and the second grain is called just noticeable difference. Okay, I hope you got it. So th this is the concept of just noticeable difference. Okay, let's move forward to the next slide. Mark uh, marketing application of just noticeable difference. Marketers need to determine the relevant just noticeable difference for their products so that the negative changes are not readily discernible to the public and so that the product improvements are very apparent to the consumers. For example, in these pictures, you can also see all the women, they look similar, but they have difference. That is noticeable difference. We can see some difference in, the, in their complexion, in their hairstyle, in their dressing. There are slight differences. They are noticeable difference. So marketers need to determine the relevant, just noticeable difference for their products so that the consumer will not be able to actually uh, readily discernible to the public so that negative changes, they are not discernible to the public. The people should not see the negative changes so, and the product improvements are very apparent to the consumers so that we can uh, show the consumers that we have improved our products. Okay. I will complete my slide here. Uh, we will understand about, okay, let me complete the subliminal perception also. Subliminal perception, what is what does it say? Stimuli that are too weak or too brief to be consciously seen or ha heard or comes under the umbrella of subliminal perception. They may be strong enough to be perceived by one or more receptor cells. Okay. And subliminal perception occurs when stimuli are presented at levels below the threshold or conscious awareness, but are still perceived by the subconscious mind. For example, in a marketing context, company might include subtle images or messages in their advertisements that are designed to be perceived subconsciously. There are some messages or some sort of marketing uh, images which are used in the product that are actually uh, perceived by the subconscious mind. For example, these subliminal cues could influence a person's feeling or attitude toward the product without them being consciously aware of it. We are not constantly, uh, we are not uh, consciously actually observing some changes in the product or in the, uh, in, in the advertisement. However, our subconscious mind is perceiving those changes. For example, when I talk about uh, sting, sting, 
it gives me subconsciously it gives me that string is actually uh, meant for energy drink or induce energy inside your mind so these are actually the cues which are not actually meant for your conscious mind but your subconscious mind actually feels and perceives the message i will end my video here i hope you would be uh, fully aware what i have taught you and what i have delivered the lecture uh, delivered in the lecture so uh, let me complete my video here inshallah in the next video i will come up with the second video uh, in the same slides and those would be helpful for you thank you for watching my video and you are also requested to subscribe my channel so that you would be able to watch my videos regularly thank you